The platform is divided into three sections. On the left, you'll find the navigation bar, which you can use to navigate through the content area in the center. On the right, you'll find the communication center. The communication center is an always-on module where all your communication with other participants takes place. It can be folded in and out at any time. Here you will find the tabs People, Chat, Schedule, Notifications, and your own profile. Under People Networking, you will find all participants, exhibitors, speakers, and visitors of ITB Berlin Now. The full text search under Search People offers you the possibility to search for a specific person. Behind the name of each person, there are three interaction points which offer further functionalities to interact with the corresponding contact. This menu offers the following options. The connect function you can use to link to contacts. With the share function, you can send profiles to other participants. In case of dislike, you can block contacts. With an already existing contact, you can download the vCard. The requests in the People tab refer to connection requests already made between people. Here you will find above the people who want to connect with you and those with whom you want to connect or to whom you have sent a contact request. In this overview, you can see both the requests you have received from other people and the requests you have sent. Here, in the requests already sent to you, you can react directly to the request by accepting it or rejecting it. If you accept them, the respective persons will appear in the list of your contacts. The contact list is thus the list of people with whom you have already exchanged virtual business cards. You can download your individual contacts or their contact data from here individually as a vCard via the contacts menu, or export the entire contact list for insertion into your personal address book, for example. A full text search is also available here which is useful if you have a long list of contacts. If you want to start chatting with a contact, you can initiate this directly in the interaction menu, as already mentioned. The chat window will open and you can start the chat directly. In the chat tab, you will find an overview of all your individual and group chats. You can use the search function to find people and start a chat. You start a group chat as follows. You click on New Group, set a group name, choose a description, and add up to 14 more participants, and start the chat. The group chat has its own interaction menu, just like the individual chat. This is your personal appointment calendar. Here you have the overview of confirmed appointments, requests for appointments, and rejected appointments. You can make a new appointment yourself as well as download agreed appointments to transfer them to your own calendar. The context menu of an appointment also offers you the possibility to view and edit the appointment, accept it, cancel it, or, in case it has already been confirmed, join the appointment via video chat, start a group chat with the participants, and export the individual appointment as a calendar entry. If you want to make an appointment yourself, it will also be listed directly under Confirmed Appointments. To do this, click on Make New Appointment, enter a title for the appointment, add the desired participants to this appointment, select the date, start and end time, optionally add a note, and click on Send Invitation. If you receive a request, it is listed in the tab under Requests. Here you have the possibility to export the pending appointments in their entirety. You can accept or reject the individual appointments, whereby the accepted appointments end up in the overview list of confirmed appointments and the rejected appointments in the list of rejected appointments. In the Notifications tab, you find the Do Not Disturb function and an overview of the notifications of all requests, calls, and meetings, as well as all events. With the Do Not Disturb function, you have the possibility to mute the network regarding notifications or messages for you, 
while at the same time, the full usability of the platform is guaranteed. If this function is active, you will not be called and you will not receive any notifications, for example, if you are watching a content session you want to concentrate on. At times when you are not actively logged into the platform, you will receive email notifications for missed messages. In the Communication Center, you will also find your own profile, which you can customize. You can add yourself to the network or remove yourself from the network. If you remove yourself, you will still be visible to your existing contacts, but not to anyone else. You will also not have the opportunity to search for new contacts in the networking area if you remove yourself from the network. More details in the chapter Networking. Here you will also find the Do Not Disturb function. Furthermore, you will find the settings for camera, microphone and speaker, as well as an overview list of people you do not want to be contacted by, which you have blocked accordingly in the context menu of the respective person. Under My Organization, you will find the organizations you are assigned to if this is the case. This means that you, as a team member of your company, have the choice to be displayed as a contact person on the brand card detail page of your company or not. More about this in the Brand Card Back Office chapter. The function Allow People to Find Me allows you to display yourself as an employee in the brand card or to deactivate this. This way you will no longer be displayed in the brand card detail page. You can also set yourself on standby for the showroom and thus be approachable within the showroom. In your own profile, you can edit different things. In addition to your data, you can also assign different interests here using interest tags, which are later used to get recommendations on other relevant contacts and people within ITB Berlin now. More about this in the networking chapter. You can also add your social media profiles. On the left side of the platform is the navigation area. Here you will find all the important contents of the platform. You can see which area you are currently in by the orange marking. Clicking on the ITB globe will always take you back to the home page of the platform. Use the integrated full text search to search for exhibitors, sessions, products, or exhibitor presentations and press conferences for example, ITB Berlin Now. From the navigation area, you can access all contents of the platform and go directly to your target. My ITB is your personal place where you can find your personal schedule, as well as all your favorite elements, such as program sessions from the convention or brand cards from interesting exhibitors. It is your very own and individual area of ITB Berlin now. You can get to My ITB via the navigation bar or you can use the switch function. In the individual sections, up next, My Schedule, Speaker, as well as Exhibitors, you will find respectively which dates and which events are coming up for you, as well as which speaker and which exhibitor have been assigned a favorite by you. Under Up Next, you will find your appointments that you have generated yourself or that you have accepted. And in the My Schedule section, you will see a vertical timeline sorted by the type of event you have added to your favorites. From the Up Next and My Schedule sections, you can also go directly to the overview list of all dates and events in your schedule. In the Speaker and Exhibitor sections, you have the option of viewing all those you have added to your favorites in a list view, including the corresponding interaction buttons. If you want to switch from My ITB to a session or program, you will land directly on the Program Details page. The Back button on the top left will always take you to the last selected or viewed item on the platform. Home is the exit for your digital participation and bundles all important information for you and offers a first good overview for the following sections. Live sessions from the convention speakers, cafes, 
networking, and from the show floor. Home is the central place where you can find the live sessions and the speakers in different sections. From here, you can also access the different spaces of the cafes, have a starting point for networking via the visual graph, and access to the show floor. These following areas will be displayed and suggested to you in home. Exhibitors of ITB Berlin Now will be displayed to you. You can either click directly into the brand card of the exhibitor and get there, or you can browse through the suggestions. Also from here, you can go directly to the show floor via Visit Show Floor, an overview of the live sessions, cafe, and speakers. From here, you can also go directly to the networking area. The show floor is the place where exhibitors are represented with their brand card. The size and interaction possibilities vary depending on the booked package. Here you can search for exhibiting companies in tile or list view. The search can be used to explicitly search for words. The brand cards are personalized and maintained by the exhibiting companies. In the show floor view, you have the familiar interaction options in addition to the logo and the exhibitor name or the package booked by the exhibitor. For companies that have booked an exhibitor presentation or press conference, you will see an on-air button on the exhibitor's respective brand card in the show floor. At this point, you can send a meeting request to all your employees added in the brand card. By clicking on Request Meeting, the request will be visible in your back office in the Meeting Request section. How to accept, forward, or reject them is explained in more detail in the back office chapter. The register interest function is the option to express interest in you as a company and at the same time ask you for a callback. You can see these requests in your back office under Contact Requests. This will give you the contact details of the requester, which is the first step to being connected to you in the network. You will receive a notification with the information to get back to the requester. This is the easiest way for visitors to get in touch with you through your brand card. The Share function allows visitors to share and recommend your brand card with other networkers. The recipient will receive a chat notification with a direct URL link to your brand card. Favorites allow visitors to save your brand card so that they can access your brand card more quickly via the Favorites view. An overview of all favorite brand cards can be found on the show floor under Show Only Favorites or under my ITB. If the visitor wants to delve a little deeper into the brand card information and take a closer look at a company, he clicks on the respective brand card of the exhibitor, which takes him to the brand card detail page. Here, there are a few more options and functions in the upper area. The first time a visitor interacts via one of these functions, an opt-in appears, where the visitor has to give permission for the data exchange. In effect, the visitor will be asked if they agree to their contact details being shared, and with their consent, they will be shared accordingly in your lead time statistics. These statistics are only available with the all-in or all-in destination package. Entering the public showroom is similar to entering a booth at a trade show. It is an audio-video chat room where the visitor and anyone else who enters this booth has the opportunity to get in direct contact with the exhibitor's selected staff. Exhibitor staff are identified for all attendees in the attendee list. In your back office, you can decide which employees are available for the showroom. These staff members must be actively present in the showroom to welcome guests. We recommend having at least one staff member there at all times to ensure the showroom is activated and available. The showroom will remain open for visitors even if they navigate to other areas on the ITB Berlin Now platform. He has to actively leave the showroom by clicking on the red handset. In addition to entering the showroom, Visitors can also get an overview of which team and employees the company has in place. 
For each individual member, there are the familiar interaction features. How employees are added to a brand card is explained in the back office chapter. On the Exhibitor Detail page, you can also see which sessions of the Exhibitor are currently live and if cafes are available. By clicking on the session or the cafe, the visitor can go there directly. If co-exhibitors have been booked, they will be displayed in list view. Via click on the co-exhibitor brand card, the visitor will automatically be forwarded to the brand card detail page of the respective company. Furthermore, additional information such as products, trademarks, links, media, and download material can be found in the brand card if these have been entered and maintained by the exhibitor. How this information is entered is explained in the chapter Brand Card Maintenance. The schedule gives you a simple and quick overview of the entire program. In a vertical timeline, all program points are displayed according to the stage or stream, day, and time. With a click on the program point in the stream, you get to the program detail page. This is structured as follows. Above, you will see the live stream, which you can zoom in to full screen mode, as well as zoom out to a picture in picture frame. This is followed by the description of the program item, as well as an overview of all speakers involved in this program item. Next to the name of the speaker, you will again find the icons with which you can also favorite the speaker or forward it to other people in order to recommend the speaker to them. The program overview is also available in a list view, as is the show floor. In the program overview, you will find a centrally placed switcher in the upper part. This allows you to switch from the schedule to a speaker overview. Here again, you have a full text search where you can search for speakers, as well as the possibility to bookmark or forward the speakers again. The cafe is where you meet groups of people who share ideas on specific topics or specific brands in various meeting corners. The cafe can be open to the public or have restricted access. In this case, entry must be requested. This means that an exhibitor hosting a private cafe can require visitors to request access and then decide in the back office whether to let the visitor into this private cafe or not. How this works is explained in the back office chapter. When you enter a cafe, you first have a group chat in which you can not only chat with the participants of the cafe, but also communicate with them via the context menu of each individual. The cafes are open 24 hours a day from the 9th to the 12th of March. When you enter a meeting corner, you have the possibility to communicate with all participants who are also present in this meeting corner. In this meeting corner, you can add other participants. They will then receive a call when added, and when accepted, they can join the meeting corner. In a meeting corner, it is then possible to communicate with each other using the usual functions for controlling the meeting corner. Leaving the meeting corner does not have the consequence that the conversation is left. This means, for example, that when viewing further content on ITB Berlin now, such as the program, the meeting corner you are in will remain open. This means that the audio-video function works like a session and remains active as a picture-in-picture -picture until you actively close it by clicking on the red handset. On the Partners and Sponsors page, you will find the brand card in tile format of all partners and sponsors in alphabetical order. Clicking on the brand card tile will automatically take you to the brand card details page. The goodie bag option gives exhibitors the possibility to display interesting goodies or bonuses, vouchers or deals. Similar to the cafe, you will see tiles here with a background and display text that can be individually designed. 
Offer all ITB Berlin Now visitors a goodie such as a voucher or a discount code and draw attention to your company and your product. In the statistics of your brand card, you can see which visitors became aware of you via the goodie bag and use the opportunity to contact the customers afterwards to send them your goodie. The Press and Media page is the media center for journalists and bloggers. This is where you can find press releases, media content for your contributions, and information about press conferences. Visit the Press and Media Lounge in order to exchange ideas with other media representatives and make new contacts.